Welcome to the kingdom. Hello and praise the Lord. I am Pastor Fred Moore, pastor of the Kingdom of God Christian Center right here in the beautiful city of Round Rock, Texas. And this is Sila Moments with Pastor Fred Moore. I want to give a shout out to my kingdom family, love, peace, and blessings, and grace, grace to all of you, to my beloved wife who helped me with these podcasts, love you so much, and to my family just as a whole. Thank you guys and to all the friends that have encouraged this preacher regarding this podcast. Special shout out to Apostle Carlos Keith who really nudged me into doing this along with my precious wife. Let's pray, beloved, and then we'll continue with our Selah thought. Father, we thank you again for our time around your word. Our prayer is simple. Speak for your servants are listening in Christ's name. Amen. All right, beloved, we want to continue our Selah thought. Encourage yourself. Say that with me. Encourage yourself. In 1 Samuel, the King James Version, 1 Samuel chapter 30, uh, verse number 6, it, we find these words. And David was greatly distressed, for the people spake of stoning him, because the soul of all the people was grieved, every man for his sons and his daughters. But David encouraged himself in the Lord. Say that with me. But David encouraged himself in the Lord. Now, beloved, I know a lot of you that are Christians are very familiar with that scripture, that David encouraged him, himself in the Lord. And like myself, you might also be fond of that scripture. But I don't know about you. I want that scripture to become my reality. I don't want it to just be some good words on on the page of a paper on paper. I want it to be my life experience. I want to learn like David did how to encourage my Self, because there's times, beloved, past ain't gonna call you. There's times mama ain't gonna call you. There's times your friends ain't gonna call you, and you're not having a good time. Can I tell? Can I? And you're not having a good day or a good moment in your life. And it's on those moments that you and I are gonna have to learn how King David did. And David encouraged himself. Encouraged himself. And and, and listen, as we in 2024. I want you to end 2024 knowing how to encourage yourself. I want myself to be the same. And David's going to be the man to teach us. Now, last time I was with you, I misquoted a specific verse that I wanted to give to you, but I will give to give it to you now. And that's Psalms 32, 7, because I said unto us that discouragement comes from different directions and from different people. And in Numbers 32, 7, the New King James Version, Numbers 32, 7, it reads, Now why will you discourage the heart of the children of Israel from going over into the land which the Lord has given them? And I said to us that sometime discouragement comes to prevent us from possessing the promised place that the Father has for us. And that's what Moses was saying to some of the children of Israel because they wanted to go backwards. And I don't know about you. I don't believe God wants us to go backwards. I believe he wants us to go forward. But see, discouragement comes not only to prevent us from possessing that promised place, but it also comes to prevent us from building the life that God has for us. Discouragement comes to prevent us from building the life that the Father has for us. The Bible says in Ezra chapter 4, verse 4, the New King James Version, it says this, verse 4, uh, I'm sorry, verse number, uh, chapter 4, verse number 7. It says, then the people of the land tried to discourage the people of Judah. They troubled them in building. They troubled them in building. Ezra 4, 4, it says, then the people of the land, excuse me, tried to discourage the people of Judah from building. And Satan would try to prevent you and I from building building our life, building our marriage, building a business. And you'll be surprised, beloved, who it comes from. I'm saying to you, we're going to learn in these Sila moments how to encourage ourselves. When mama won't call, mama hasn't called, pastor hasn't called, girlfriend hasn't called, my best boy hasn't called. I'm going to learn. You're going to learn like David. I'm going to encourage myself. 
Beloved, listen, if you're in the Austin area, we would love for you to consider joining us for one of our services Sunday morning at 11 a.m., Tuesday nights at 7 p.m., and we're on all the platforms. You can download our KGCC app. We're on Spotify, Facebook, and YouTube, <laughs> and you can join us for one of our in-person services Sunday mornings at 11 a.m. and Tuesday mornings at 7 p.m. And if this uh, podcast is blessing you, would you please consider sh- subscribing or sharing or giving us a like? Thank you so much. Love, peace, and blessings, beloved.